the synthesis of Maxine's is scalable. Because we're producing these from a top-down approach, uh, from a bulk ceramic precursor, we can scale up all steps of the synthesis process. So what I'm showing you here is the reactor we have in our lab that allows us to produce up to 100 grams of Maxine at the same time. And so uh, seeing is believing. This is what 100 grams of Maxine looks like. So you can, I'll, I'll focus on this one for now. Um, I mentioned you can see a nice color change. So you see it goes from a, a dull gray powder. So in my experience, and if anyone has found a max phase that does not look gray, please let me know. I would love to uh, learn that. But as far as I know, every max phase is a similarly gray powder color. And then after you do the etching and turn it into Maxine, you could start to see the different colors. So you could see this kind of purplish sheen of TI3C2. And I have here about a liter of Maxine solution. And so with the amount we made here, it's enough to produce approximately 250,000 stamped supercapacitors or to cover a football field with an EMI shielding, um, an EMI shielding coating that will give you 99.99% uh, protection against EMI waves. Or you can coat um, hundreds of iPhones or many other uh, things. But with the amount of Maxine we're making, because it's a two-dimensional material, um, producing one gram is sufficient for many, many applications. But in this case, uh, if you produce 50 or 100 grams of Maxine, you can then uh, start to reach these industrial or commercial level um, products. So it's something that's uh, very readily scalable. And if you're interested in this, I would love to talk individually about, you, uh, about this on Friday with anyone.